and welcome to the Mac Pack Podcast. We're back. My name's Jake McKenna, and to my left, this weekend, order of the least amount of bottles has been thrown in his face, it's my little brother, Joey. How are you, boy? Yeah, not bad, Jake. Yeah, that's right. No bottles this week. Bit of a change of pace for me, but I'm liking it. <laughs> and so, all right, coming at six foot one, as he does each and every week, it's the baby brother of the pack. Who we call Junior Boy? Junior Boy, how are you? I was sliced and diced last night, and I'm I'm not over it. I'm not over it. <laughs> You're looking good. Looking a bit like a, a bit of a war vet sort of vibe going on here. Yeah, it is kind of cool though. Not gonna lie. <laughs> Boys, we've got a whole heap of stuff to chat about today. As always, uh, obviously your glassing. The beers are here. The beers are here, the beers are here. after we chatted about them last week on the Mac Pack podcast. Joe and I, we've got an announcement regarding fitness and a bit of a PT session we've got Ooh, going on over the next on. eight weeks. The Olympics are finished, so we're going to wrap that up. And there's some bits of footy on as well as plenty to get through. Let's get into it. Boys, boys, boys. Brother boys, how are we? Brother We're going great. How, how are, are you? you? What's been going on? Yeah, not much. I got, Riley. I got glassed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so tell us tell <laughs> us the tale. You came out this, the, of your room this morning and you looked a little bit worse for where mum was like, man, you don't look great. And then on closer inspection. She says actually, that most mornings. You so. had like, <laughs> not blood lines, but you had like a little bit of a... a little cut. Cuts. Yeah, cuts and bruises on under, underneath that bottom left. Yeah, so... We we return home. We return to Metro's. Yep. On the leash. <laughs> and um, of course, of course, your boy is going to be on the mosh pit, and it's a common thing. <laughs> Not in the mosh pit. He was on it. <laughs> it's a common thing for because at Metro's, I actually didn't get glassed. I got plasticked. Okay. Yep. Oh, it was yeah. A plastic cup. I think. In the way it fucking hurt, it felt like glass, but I think it was plastic out of nowhere. Wait, no. So, uh, let me let me pre set the scene. Yeah. So when you're on the mosh pit and you've got a drink. In the mosh pit, and not you, on. Yeah, in. <laughs> when you're in the mosh pit and you got to drink it, yep. like a vodka Red Bull in a plastic cup, and you finish it, what's the, what, what are you going to do with the yeah, cup? Launch it. <laughs> when you say plastic cup, is it like one that you'd get like at a, a 17 year old kid's no, car? It's like, like, it's like, oh, you mean like, they like look glass? Like hard plastic. Yeah, okay, but yeah. it's yeah. glass, but it looks, yeah, okay, I gotcha. Yeah, and they've, yeah, so the main strategy is to just to drop them. Okay. Because you're in the middle of the mosh. Somewhere. Yeah, no, I feel you. Yeah, I've, okay. I'm, like, <laughs> okay. I'm in that camp. I'm, when there's like 600 people around you, you can't really like squeeze your way out and then squeeze your way back in yeah. just to put a glass. Like it's just common knowledge just to drop it. Yeah. And then the glassies come and pick them up whenever they can. <laughs> but, <laughs> um, supposed to be. But um, yeah, so sometimes people like to have a bit of fun with it. Yeah. <laughs> And they tend to have, fang them, fang them up in the air. Some oh. people just throw them up, like just live it up. Maybe there's a little. Oh, bit of, just like chuck them straight up in the air. Yeah, a bit of liquid left in it, maybe, and they just like yeah, throw you get it a up little in the splash. Air. You get kicked out pretty quick doing that. Or some people like tend to like throw it across the mosh, not just up, like get a bit of a trajectory at on someone. it. Someone, yeah. But this one felt felt like it was coming straight fucking at me. Yeah, right. From I, I was facing east <laughs> on the marsh. I was surrounded by all the boys yeah. out Away of nowhere. From the ocean. I was I was bumping to the beach and then whack. What song is like? Because smacked in the face. Oh, I can't remember. <laughs> uh, but yeah, smacked in the face by a cup. Shit fucking hurt. And it sliced me up. And the boys... Did uh, it break on impact or just sort of bounced off your face? No, nah, it bruised. bounced on my face, hit the floor. I was, yeah. I was looking around like, what the fuck? Like, so maybe someone's like looking at me who did it. Like, fucking dog. Yeah, but bold, then bold move. Couldn't find anyone. And so it wasn't just hoofed from like a nah, distance? No, it felt like it was like a direct... Not like, <laughs> not like it was thrown at me, but it felt like a, the trajectory was like... Short, yeah. yeah. It was like a short, sharp chest pass. It wasn't a, <laughs> yeah, it wasn't, cheek, it wasn't a log. But Fucking you're all good. Man. I'm all good, but it kind of made me look cool, and got a few cool stories at it yeah. today at work. It's so. more the the shock of getting hit. I put a there. put up a photo on my Instagram as well of me just looking great in the morning. Yeah, Spun very with the, tough. With the it was interesting. Cut face. Joe Kanye dropped nope. the album as we we chatted about it last week. Did you drop the album? Uh, he? No, he hasn't. Okay. No, oh, no word. Sick. Maybe yeah. next week. Well, I think <laughs> well, I said it wasn't happening. You said I it, said it wasn't happening. And you said it was. Yeah. Yeah. One of these days. <laughs> That's a shame. Um, I wonder who will be out by Friday when when this one comes out. Oh, who knows? I kind of have a feeling it's going to be. Yeah. <laughs> you said we're that last week. Yeah, yeah we're but not like, taking any of that. You know. Anyway. Anyway. Um, <laughs> Boys, golf. We played golf yesterday. We played golf down at Secret Harbour. Must be nice. Boys. Yeah, you. We played nice. at Secret Harbour. We, you and I have played a few times. Yeah, you play the front nine. Yeah, good time. Yeah, yeah. Slow, nice, yeah. slow. Joe really took his time. Yeah, I haven't played since. Um, I and think we took the day off before Australia Day. That was, I think, it was the last time I played golf. Yeah. Oh shit! It showed. It definitely <laughs> a bit showed. rusty. Golf's yeah. fucking hard. Golf's hard when you play it every weekend, let alone when you like. <laughs> Going to play it every week yourself, yeah. and it was raining. Oh, yeah, it was raining. It was because we were the last ones. The good thing about Secret Harbour, if you ever want to play down at Secret Harbour, it's always fucking quiet. Like no one seems to play the beautiful course. 
No one's ever down there. So when it's we go down away. there, especially because we go in the afternoon. Yeah, it's we were the only people. We were the only people there. Like we started and played a full nine. No one else was. No one was in front of us. No one was behind us. No, we yeah. were, that was it. Which is good because you know, close to yourself, you can be as shit as you want. Yeah, you can take as long as you need. Yeah, it's well, such a, it's such an awkward sport because then if you've never That's played before, you play and like you, usually when you don't play a lot, you're slow. And then people who play a lot, they just creep up behind you. But it and also you have comes to wait for them. Yeah, it also comes down to them. It's like. You you are you are playing quick, but you're also playing twice as many shots as anyone that's like half. Yeah, easy. exactly. Yeah, realistically, you should take five shots. So take an extra thirty seconds per shot, and you'll you'll speed up. But we're in the bush. We're looking for balls, yeah. especially when you're hitting them. We're looking for a lot of balls <laughs> yesterday. Well, um, well, that's the thing about about Secret Harbor. Well, firstly, there was I, I don't want to blame the weather, but do you reckon it's just it, Secret Harbor? Do you reckon <laughs> this is this is every golf course? A lot of people that play. A fair bit of golf. Michael Craggs, yep. uh, first um, guest on the MacPay podcast. Great dude. He texted me yesterday and goes, like, how you go? Um, and I was like, yeah, good. Lost a lot of lost a lot of pills, but we we got through. And he goes, yeah, like it's a fucking tough track. And he's bang on. And he's good at golf. So yeah. if he's struggling, you know, like it's a pretty tough little, little course. Tell us the theory, Joe. Well, one thing that's hard about golf, so you hit the ball and then it's hard to find, right? Yeah. You think it would stand out, a little ball... A little white ball. Open, yeah. open field, mm-hmm. not hard to find. Not hard to find. Yeah. Although there's a lot of bushes around. There are pretty thick. Yeah. So, like shrubs. Yeah. Even in places where, like, obviously there's like trees and stuff. That's to be expected. But even in places where, like, they shouldn't be. Just like slightly off, off to the left of the course, there would be like these little. I don't even know how to yeah, describe. Yeah, the actual like, tree. Like there's little, little like, like big grass grass molds. trees. Yeah. yeah. Oh. That just the trees don't. They don't grow up. They grow. Up and out and across and sort of like just a little trap. Com- yeah, they they fo- they want you to lose the ball. Yeah, and there's a traps. water there's a water feature as well, so you got to shoot it over the pond as well. I reckon there'd almost be like next to no water in that anymore. It it's would just almost golf just be balls. yeah, it's yeah. just almost all golf balls. It hits the, the top and it bounces off another. <laughs> or like you hit it into the water, and there's so many that if one extra golf ball goes in, another golf ball will just shoot <laughs> out the side. <laughs> it's not that far off, but that's yeah. where they're making their money. Yeah, that's what we were saying. Sales. As 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 Joe like hit his fourteenth ball into the bush on the second hole, <laughs> we're like, "This is it. This is how they make their coin back." Yeah, must. So be. how many balls would be like if you cut down all the the grass and shit? You'd find so many oh, balls so just, oh, just perched up in payday there. for them. Yeah, one hundred percent. Speaking of payday, here we go. The Finneys are back. They're back. The so, Super Finns are here. Yeah. For the audio listeners, I've just <laughs> raised a raised a beer. Raised a glass. Cheers, um, cheers, me, Jake. Cheers, me. Congratulations. Here we go. Do it oh, oh, on, the, on oh, the mic. Yeah. On the micage. Bang. Oh, very there you nice. go. A very <laughs> for all your audio. <laughs> radio That's not etiquette. a sound effect. That's real life. Radio <laughs> etiquette. Um, yeah. So last week on the MacPack podcast, we discussed the fact that we I had won a beer competition. A competition on Instagram. Prize was beer, and we waited best part of six weeks for six beers. Six to seven weeks. Yeah. And then eventually, our man after yeah. after numerous texts. Back um, and forth. He's hit us up. He was very remorseful. Um, well, you, well, who was here when he got here? We were, but yeah. no knock, just oh. to text. So he literally, <laughs> and we've got we've got security cameras he out. Knew the, he was we've guilty. got security cameras out the front, and he texts me as we were about to leave for golf, and he's just like, uh, "It's just out the front, man." And I was just like, <laughs> "Well, what is?" <laughs> yeah, and I was like, "Oh, okay." Like he's obviously, I I assumed it meant him. He's done a drop and run. And so I've gone to the front and he wasn't there, but the beers were there. And so I grabbed the beers and then I've had a look on the camera. And it's funny. We won't... I want to share it, but I don't want it to put like you his... you know who he is. Yeah. Yeah, I don't want to put his... Um, face. His face or his name or anything like that. He's... He works on Channel 7. <laughs> and he, he has a good Instagram. Yeah. Yeah. He's on TV. Uh, He's on TV funny. a fair bit. Yeah. You'd know him. If I met, if I said who it was, I'd be like, oh, I didn't know he was <laughs> doing beer competitions. Yeah. <laughs> and to be honest, he's not really doing them. He's just sort of... He's not great at him either. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, but props to him for bringing the beers. It's a long way to drive. He, I think he lives in the city. So fair way to come uh, all the way to Canning Vale. 20, 20, 25, maybe. <laughs> but he was cute. He got the beers out and he put them good on man. the thing. And then, and then you can see him texting me going, beers out the front. And then he gets in his car and he drives off. <laughs> Next, right. next time he'll do it. He'll go right beer competition. Just you know, comment at share your friends. <laughs> follow the page. Uh, you're just not allowed to live in Canningvale. <laughs> yeah, exactly. If you're enjoying this week's episode of the podcast, the best thing that you can do to show us a little bit of support is to share it with your mates. Whether it's a a story on Instagram, Ooh. a private message to a pal, a DM. 
slide into those DMs, do whatever you need be. Or even just like message your mum and be like, these guys, they swear a lot, but like... I prefer Gmail as they, well. They Gmail mean, yeah, Gmail is good. Gmail is good. It's slow. Like it's a very slow and formal I way. I click on any link I get. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> nice. Fair <laughs> enough. Um, so yeah, chuck it on your Instagram story or send it to a mate. But whatever you do, we just want to grow this little baby pack. Fantastic. And then every week you can chat about the pack with your pack. There you go. Exactly. All right, boys, we have a huge um, and exciting announcement to make. The boys um, are getting jacked. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> We've decided, <laughs> Joe and I have decided, Riley's pretty shredded, but Joe and I <laughs> have, Riley is shredded. Joe and I have decided that commencing tomorrow, Here which will be the f- Monday, the, four days prior ninth, to the release of this episode. The 9th of August. The 9th of August. Joe and I are commencing our... First transformation. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we're doing an eight-week program with Body Magic. Um, body Mag, which is a huge news. What's for those Body Magic? Playing What's Body Magic, Jack? Tell um, us. So Body Magic is run by Jared Madge. Jared Madge, Jared um, Madge. Old Corpus Christi boy. I think he was. Yeah, he's a, a year lot. older than me. Yeah. So quite a few of you are years older than both of you. Yep. Um, Love Island alumni as well Love from Island, 2018, yeah. 2018, 2019. 2019. 2019. Yeah. Um, Love Island alumni. Check out the old, I think the old episodes <laughs> are still on like nine now. Oh, um, yeah, of course. <laughs> I don't think he enjoyed being on that program, but I'm sure we'll find out in good time. I don't think that season got highly rated either. Hot take. Because <laughs> <laughs> um, they didn't come back for 2020. So there's a lot to... <laughs> I think it might have been because of the virus. Yeah. That's a good point. Um, <laughs> there is a lot to unpack. So I've got a few mates who have done it before yeah. and I've always been like, ah. Oh, so what is it? Is looks it fucking, it looks tough, but I haven't done any... Since I, did my, <laughs> since I did my knee in February, I have done very little amount of exercise. Fair enough. Um, I've never had good... February of 2019. Yeah, I've never had... 2020. 2020. I've never had any good food eating habits. No, either. some of the worst... Um, Jared asked me about that. <laughs> I guess we were just like, what yeah. do you guys... What's your diet like at the moment? Like, shit. I'll run you through the last 24 hours. How many macros? KFC then? for dinner last night. KFC for breakfast today. I had a relatively healthy day today. <laughs> <laughs> went to they were leftovers, by the way. Jake didn't go to KFC twice. I've, ju- I've just come <laughs> back from the footy. I had beers. We had sausage rolls. We had chips. And it's not, this is not by no means like a party day. This is like a normal, this <laughs> yeah. is like a normal day. Yeah. It's not like you've gone, oh, fuck it, I'm just going to go crazy. Like, no. For last day of eating normal. Like a good day, a good working day, I'd have like burgers and chips. Yeah. I'd have like lasagna. I'd have pizza, pasta, oh. um, like your parmigianas, chi- oh. lots of chips, lots of pizzas, lots of Italian food, lots of like deep fried Chinese. Yeah. Very nice. So this is going to be good for too long. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. All that good stuff. So now is the, now is the time. To, to really rip in. So it's an eight week challenge, Joe. Yep. What are you most looking forward to? Most it looking be, forward other to. Other than it finishing. <laughs> 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 eight weeks is two months. Fuck that. Two months, yeah. yeah. I think I think the routine will be good because um like Riley and I used to go to the gym, which yeah. was good. I still go. Except um yeah, I found it because obviously I have work, Riley doesn't have work, and ideally I like going excuses early. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. This right. is the old this is the old me. Yep. Ideally I did like going with someone, but it's hard to find a time that worked for both of us. Mm-hmm. And also just like, you come home from work, you're like, ah, oh, yeah, long, long day guessed. of doing math and numbers. Gee, yeah. time for a rest. Yeah. But having to go, it's like, it's almost like with the being vegan thing. It's like, um, <laughs> like before, if someone was like, hey, like, do you want these? Do you want, do you want a beet pie? You just feel like, yeah, I'll have it. But now then you once you think tell yourself it. like, no, I, I don't eat that. Yeah. Like I never like, crave that because it's like it's yeah. not like a I don't want that it's like no I'm like not allowed to have that yeah so there are a few rules and restrictions so he's got meal plans um that we've sort of gone through and fleshed out ourselves there's only a handful there's they're fantastic meals and they all look really yeah. good mm-hmm. I'm a very very fussy eater a lot of those meals I have either never heard of before name some um vegetables <laughs> even like a fish taco I've never had a fish taco oh, in that, my life I, that does not sound good. um <laughs> yeah some people love fish tacos a lot of people I work with love fish tacos go down to the Mexican kitchen um, fish there's tacos. so many there's so I couldn't I couldn't even start even like enchiladas he was, enchiladas like, yeah like vegetables he was gonna have enchiladas. kangaroo meatballs but they got vetoed by mother yeah mum said no kangaroo mum said no one cooks kangaroo in this house <laughs> <laughs> so they've got meal they've got meal plans so I went to the shops today with Taylor and Taylor has helped a great deal to like cook up all 
the food preparation. So we've got what some you, nice yeah. chicken. We've got some... I was cutting broccoli. I've never cut broccoli. In my, I've never really eaten yeah. broccoli in my life. Cut, <laughs> it was cutting that shit up. It was cutting carrots up today. It was fucking hell for leather in the kitchen. Yeah. The um, carrots. I thought this was just a fictional thing that Bugs Bunny eats. <laughs> <laughs> so there's obviously the meal plans. We're training with him Monday to Thursday. And what are the trainings? Every uh, pretty intense by the sounds of things. Yeah, He's so like, yeah, they start slow, but you're going to hate life after like the, f- like the first week is going to really test you did he say that especially if you yeah. haven't done and ben i text ben he goes you're 100 percent going to vomit during the first week like it's just it's inevitable <laughs> so i can't wait for that yeah, that's, that's calories out that's so <laughs> yeah, exactly there's also so we've got meal plans we've got like the trainings and there's you, there's a no drink policy you know like how i think that's is. what jake will struggle that's with the, the most, most. So is this the last dance is yeah this the last so deal? this like while that bloke has just bought a carton of beers <laughs> yeah. And we thank him greatly. We will not be... Could have been waiting another eight months, eight weeks. Yeah, we'll get through like a six pack before we start. But as of tomorrow... Wait, what? So we're allowed two... <laughs> two two days. Yeah, we're allowed two sessions. And um, have you picked your Throughout sentence? the eight weeks. Now, the footy, the AFL grand final What's is occurring during... So you're allowed to drink on two occasions. Oh, okay. In the eight weeks, you've got two days where you can have a beer. Jake's picking uh, tomorrow, <laughs> Tuesday. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we're going hard early. No, I've, I've penciled in the AFL grand final. Yeah, and I have no idea when that secondary wild card will be drawn. I'm thinking it's probably going to be sooner rather than later. When it, uh, wait, when when is the grand final this year? September? 20, yeah, 20, last 28th of September is generally when it gets last Saturday Fuck. of September. That's, That's like, like almost wild. the end. Yeah. yeah, so you might be going to be able to put one up before <laughs> then. So maybe if like I don't know something will come up, I'm 100 percent sure there'll be a party or something, and I'll be like. Oh god! This is your Wednesday this night. Is your really tolerance. Tough. Having not drunk for that—that's probably the longest time you haven't drunk since. Drink. Yeah, since you I were like, like seventeen. Yeah, <laughs> yeah so eighteen, nineteen. Yeah. So, so your tolerance might build up again. You might have like two beers and be like, "Whoa, whoa!" <laughs> that's also part of the whole thing. Like I work as my gig. I do a lot of work for beer agencies. Yeah. Just so tell all day long, I'm going to be like looking at beer, talking about beer, showing beer, and then it's just like they're yeah. not that good. They're kind of like trash. <laughs> nah, they're good. Beers just are good. Yeah, it's a weird. You, yeah, what are you going to say? You're at. Uh, yeah, I just can't. You're I'm at doing, a beer. Yeah, I'm you're doing a challenge. No, sorry, I'm two weeks sober. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's going to be interesting. I'm, I'm actually very excited for it, but it's it's definitely going to be tougher than I think so we're w- both imagining. What are your goals? Trying to lose weight? Trying to get ripped? We want to we want to shred and gain. Yeah. Shred, shred, the, sh- shred the fat, sh- shred that fat, and then put on some muscle in Eight weeks. Mate. Oh, fucking hell. Good luck. Think I've done, I couldn't be doing less to help myself at the moment. I drink a lot. I, there's only been, shout out to Bojana just quickly. Because a, <laughs> <laughs> a couple of weeks ago, when we, were, we weren't, this was the first, this is one of the first interactions we had with Bojana. She was on our YouTube channel and she just dropped in a comment on like an early episode of the Mac Pack where I didn't have a beer. I was just drinking waters. Yeah. And she just commented, Jake, not drinking a beer? Question mark, question mark, <laughs> question mark. And I was like, yeah. So and I didn't drink a beer last week on the, on the podcast, but we're drinking tonight. It's and the people that notice the little details. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They it, love them. It's, yeah, it's going to be exciting. I'm pumped, but we'll be yeah, writing... We'll be providing updates. You guys um, went today and you got did the weigh in. Yeah, the so he does like the photos and stuff. So yeah. we like had our, our muscles measured and our stomachs but measured. And he measured like, yeah. your mu- like you had to tense your wire. No, uh, no, just arms. Yeah, arms, uh, just like length, like, yeah. like um, length. girth, girth of arms, yeah. girth of nipples, all that sort of stuff. Yeah, you're weird. Weird. <laughs> no, don't do that. Uh, <laughs> he started it. Joe did a funny gag earlier. Yeah, we won't, anyway. we won't do that on it. Um, but yeah, we're very excited. We'll be providing updates as we go. I'm Kane. Do you reckon you'll get through the whole thing? Oh, yeah. Can you drop out? If you're a uh, bitch. Yeah, I don't <laughs> think I will because we've got a few boys. A few of our mates are doing it as well, which is yeah, exciting. That's the thing. Because there's a group of us doing it. And we've spoken about it on the podcast. You can't really stop. Yeah, there's too many people that know. <laughs> like, you need just, it. If it's just you, you're like... You know, trainings trainings are going to be intense. So trainings are Monday all the way through to Thursday once a session, like yeah. once a day. Yeah. And then Saturday mornings, 8 a.m. 8 a.m. 8 a.m. Yeah. And it's like a big... He was like, yeah, man, everyone comes down. You it's have like, to go. I want to go. You paid the money. I want to go. I want to try to go to every single one. We'll see how long that lasts for, but I do really want to commit to go to every single one, eat everything correct, only drink yeah. twice. But when I do drink, Jesus Christ, <laughs> I'm going to be vomiting yeah. enough to it'll, it'll equal it'll out. It'll probably yeah. be part of the equilibrium. Let's do it. Um, but yeah, the before and after photos, imagine them come like first week of October. Yeah, it yeah. will be celebrating like one year of the MacFag podcast. Yeah. Come then. Because it, it'll be my birthday. It, it's 46, so it'll be episode, what, 53? What? Episode 53, episode 54 will be... <laughs> 
there you when go. it's finished. And that's just about, it'll be just after our one year. Big yeah. things coming. Session. Goodness gracious me. Yeah, wish us luck. Good luck, Joey boy. Good luck, cheeky boy. Good luck, boys. It should be good fun. Guys, it's over. It's been a great two weeks, but the Olympics is done. Done. You're not wrong. Done forever. Um, Went well <laughs> from all reports. I only watched a handful of it. Oh, yeah, same. I've watched a couple things. It is neat to see. Like, we watched the skateboarding. Did you actually watch BMX. it? BMX. Oh, yeah, yeah, all the yeah. weird sports. Yeah, it's cool. It's cool seeing things that, like, you wouldn't really even think. I watched the diving. That was pretty neat. They re- They'd be spinning around up there. I didn't oh, yeah. really watch much. Eh? I watched the basketball. I watched a lot of the sprints. Yeah. Uh, who took a lot it of the out? Running. Boys? I didn't who watch a single out? swimming race. Who took out the Olympics? Uh, the American basketball team. No. The, what? Oh, oh, the, <laughs> the whole thing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah the they basketball won team. <laughs> <laughs> they're the basketball elite. team won. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they're <all time>. <laughs> <laughs> they entered as their own country. No, US won. US, US won. won. US, US, China, Japan, Great Britain, uh, Rock, RSA. What's that? Not Iraq. No, it's just Rock. And then Australia. I'm not sure. yeah. Where did we come? Seventh, sixth. Oh, we'll take that. I think it's not bad. Where's I don't know. Question without notice. Where's Where's the highest we've ever come? Probably that. From, from oh, I don't know. Yeah, yeah but it's sure. we don't have a high population. Yeah, so, so I think that's per good. capita. Is that what they say? Yeah, medals per capita. Yeah, we're big. Um, oh, rock is Russia, I think. <laughs> oh wait, no, rock is the Russian <laughs> Olympic Committee. How did I they think, come fifth? I think that's a thing. How I think, did they? Come I think fifth? that means they're Russia, isn't it? Oh. I think Russia got in trouble a couple of years ago for really not like. I think Russia got in trouble because they were doping and shit. And oh I, and I'm yeah. not sure. If, I'm not sure if Russia, the country, is allowed to do it anymore. So they have like their own little yeah, side about that. committee. Oh. If you haven't seen, just quickly, if you haven't seen, the movie is called. The movie is called. The movie is called. It's not Narcos. It's um. I have no idea what you're talking about. Okay, keep chatting. I'll find the movie. <laughs> it's so, about the doping thing. Yeah. So the the um anyway. US have won. It's Sunday night. Games have just finished. US have won the whole thing. Get on the US. Because they had the most golds we worked out. So yeah. that's, that's They the also thing. did have the most overall. Bro, they racked them up. And compared to the other countries, like US, 39, China, 38. Then third place, Icarus. Icarus is the movie. Sorry. Icarus is the movie. Third place I only s- got 27. <laughs> oh, so they beat third place by like 10. Yeah. Like the gap between second and third. Yeah. Is pumped it in. Yeah. It's not bad. China came second. Yep. By one medal. Yeah. When so I now my thing is so like I just mentioned the the US basketball team, they get one medal. So they play. I don't know if we mentioned this last week, but nah. the US team play all their like qualifying games the yep. same way as like the soccer's. The same. I watched a bit of the um hockey. Yep, that's the one. Yeah. Um, they play a lot of different games. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And long games. In the table. And yeah. then they go into like a knockout round and then they play finals and then the winner of the final gets a medal. So realistically, they've played so many games. The teams of like 10, but I think the basketball <sighs> team is like 12 deep. Yeah. yeah. They got bench. They're all playing multiple games throughout the season to get to the final to win and then win one gold medal. Yeah. If you're a sprinter, mm-hmm. there's like, what, two heats? And then it's just like, all right, <laughs> yeah. and it's barrel down there as fast as you can and you win the same you take amount. It out. Yeah. yeah, and you you win your one person wins you one medal. Whereas the Olympic basketball team have taken twelve members. Yeah, plus all the co- there's like a so many like coaches. coaches. Yeah. yeah. Anyone who knows anything about basketball, like, oh you want to coach the Olympic team? It is nuts because there's no real like in waste they do like weighted scales. Yeah. So that, like, if you're doing a hard subject versus an easy subject, yeah. it gets weighted. So and your 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 daily. score is worth a different amount. I feel like the basketball scores and the team's scores should be weighted out. I know what you mean. They're a bit harder. But also... And also, the, the basketball, two weeks. The running, nine seconds. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. I think that's the bigger thing. Like, you got... You know when Michael Phelps, like, did his first one and he won, like, literally every single swimming race ever? Yeah. It's like, that's like one day in the pool for him and he's got more he's got, like, medals... like, four gold medals, yeah. ...than, like... 300 countries Yeah That's And that, he's just done that In an Arvo Like yeah. Oh yeah And Props he's just to him I mean yeah Like don't get me wrong He's like insane But it's just funny how like Yeah that Should they try so, like, the other, Not that they're not trying But like <laughs> Just some events are like Oh yeah go and Yeah it's worth more to, yeah. Yeah. yeah Like running a marathon 
Yeah. <laughs> running 100 metres. <laughs> yeah, lads. I'm sure a lot of those marathon runners are probably pretty quick. Like, they could do all right <laughs> in the nine. Oh, the Olympic marathon runners are pretty pacey. Yeah, <laughs> yeah are, I reckon they do all right. There in was the nine actually seconds. a thing I saw. There was a, um, I forget what country she was from, but she came 28th in the marathon. It's yes. not good. She was out of how many? Yeah. How many are in the she fucking She just rise? started running like a couple years ago. She was like a high school teacher. <laughs> Her hobby used to be knitting, and then she picked up Can running. You only have one hobby: <laughs> <laughs> knitting. That was but it. Yeah, she picked up running, and is now. And she's like older than like she's not like she's like in her twenties, whatever. Yeah, she's like thirties, forties, maybe. And she came 28. That's like insane. She's like, it was her, it was the third marathon she's ever run oh. in her life. So she was like, like beast but she mode. came 28th. Yeah. Which That's is, actually, is that last? Because no. like I could come last. There's no like, <laughs> there's no window on coming last. It's just, it could take me an hour and a half to do like a hundred meter sprint. I'm still coming last. I have a good, I have a, that's, a, that's, a, that's actually interesting that you say that, Joe, because that means that. Think about how many people in the entire world. There's like almost 8 billion humans alive. Yeah. How many of them could actually qualify for the Olympics, but they don't know? Yeah, they try. If yeah. I if I did fucking, um, what's that, jousting? Or <laughs> fencing. Fencing, fencing. Jousting. <laughs> if I, maybe if I was born into fencing and I did fencing, I might have the genetic makeup to well, be the best yeah. fencer in the whole world. How many things are But there? I don't fucking know it because I'm sitting right here. Because you know how like, you know, well, that's even like um, Peter Bowl, the guy who, yeah. yeah, Perth boy, Peter Bolt. Yeah, Shout so out to Peter Bolt. He went to He's like, a big fan of the pod. He went to like St. Norbert's. Oh, um, did he? But he, mum was telling me, yeah. so if there's any, if any fact checks, <laughs> yeah. fucking get in mum's <laughs> DMs. <laughs> not mine. <laughs> yeah. So he went to St. Norbert's like to do basketball. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Was playing basketball and then the track coach or whatever needed someone to do like athletics. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then he was like, yeah, like we need someone to run in like our athletics team. And then Peter Bowl Peter stepped Bowl up. was like... Oh, yeah. What do you mean, like running? <laughs> and he's like, like running you know, the it's team. It's like a bit faster than walking, and but he was but like, slower than sprinting. And apparently, he like didn't realize he didn't, wasn't aware that that was like a nah, like surely, a sport bro. sport that you could do. Surely. Well, he knows. He definitely knows now. He came fourth overall in his little he did li- eight, little eight, game. Yeah, eight hundred meters. Yeah, I think if Jake ran eight hundred meters, he would die. Wait, what? Yeah, both come? knees would blow out. He came gold. He came no, fourth. He came fourth. Came fourth. Oh, okay. He and then impressive. It, yeah, that's still pretty good. He could beat you around the block, I reckon. <laughs> Shout out to Peter Bowl, the challenger is sitting right his, here. Make it happen, Peter Bowl. His family was back home. Yeah. They're loving it, man. Watching them all. Oh yeah, I, I enjoyed did. that they cheered. So he came fourth, and they were like absolutely going off because. Oh, that's cute, man. If you came yeah, fourth, I'd be, imagine him, be stoked. <laughs> can you imagine him? It like finishes, and then <laughs> everyone just leaves. Oh, like, oh. yeah, they just leave, turn the TV off. <laughs> yeah, I don't. Also, just like throwing <laughs> shit. At the yeah, boo. <laughs> it was good that like the Aussie basketball team won their first ever medal. Yeah, so yeah. And it was like cute. They were like dapping each other out. And Patty Mills was like happy, obviously. But like, I was like, I don't know how happy I'd be. Like, Nah, it's a, that's a big deal. It's the first time ever. Yeah, but... It's the first time. That's a huge growth of the sport. I Imagine if Ben Simmons... So Ben Simmons, shout out to Ben Simmons. Oh yeah, why was he not fan, playing? He's a fan of the show, but he's not a fan of playing basketball for Australia. So why didn't he play? Interesting. He just decided not to. He wants to f- work on his game. You know what would be, you know be a good way to work on your game? Practice game. Yeah, the best play the, the best. Yeah, play the fucking game. That's probably a good way to... Yeah, play in the Olympics. World. Play against every person in the world. That's a good way to get better, you <laughs> fucking idiot. <laughs> so we were, we were talking at the top about how... There goes any chance of us going... <laughs> yeah, <better>. yeah. <laughs> if you want to come sit down and explain yourself, Ben, you know who to call. So obviously, USA and China won it all. Well, USA won it all and then China. Obviously. USA has got like... What, what happens if it's a draw? Well, hang on, hang on. Oh. What happens if it's a draw? Yeah, do they go? That then, is a then good Then do question. they go to the silvers? Do they go to the silvers? Because they uh, make they make the, the high jumpers high jump <laughs> and they yeah. go, how do you do it? Work it out. Work it out, boys. Because I was looking. It must go to the silvers. That must be the grading way. Yeah, because like... Can you imagine though? Right here, Japan, the total medals they got, where well, they came third, 58, but great... Oh no, Rock, who, <laughs> came, who came fifth, actually had 71 medals in total. So is every team entered in... I remember last week we talked about uh, participation. Is every team in every race? Like, is everyone given a fair crack? I or is every like, country. Well, because I haven't seen like the Chinese basketball team or, or like, I haven't seen I any Americans play ping pong or any of the sorts. I heard, and this is another thing where like, I heard it on like the bus or something. So it may not be true, but apparently, <laughs> on the bus. apparently <laughs> one a, year. When do you want a bus? Why was I on the bus? Actually? No, it was on the radio. <laughs> I was driving. Oh, I always get the radio on the bus. I, mixed up. The, <laughs> I, just, I heard it. It's because, uh, it's it's sucks, because sucks, sucks. I it's when you go to get on the bus and someone just throws a radio transition Because I was listening to a podcast and then the podcast finished. So I was listening to Triple M 
and I was driving down South Street. So I was like, why would I be on South Street hearing old men talk? It must have been the bus. Fair enough. But no, they were saying in some year, it was like something like field hockey or something. There was only one team entered. Oh. So like, and I might get the country wrong, but I feel like they said Zimbabwe. They literally just in like a week got 10 people, trained them up, went there, silver medal. Fuck. That's just in like... Surely there's a few little loopholes that you could run. Like realistically, there'd be a few people entering these games. Like even the shooting and stuff. Surely it's not that hard. Like you could just learn. I think America won. um, Curl is curling a thing. Oh, not this one. I think America in one of the shooting events. America won like gold, silver, bronze. That's uh, that's unbelievable. (laughs) That speaks volumes. Um, That speaks volumes. But what I was saying. So obviously, America, China, (laughs) killed it. But they both have very high populations. So it's like when we sent our best. That's our best out of. Yeah. One out of 25 million or whatever. Yeah. The, you know, in America. Like the, the six people that know how to play. You're the best out of like, sorry, in China. That's the best out of like a billion people. Yeah. That's like yeah. the top, that's like a seventh of the population. Yeah. But then you also got India, right? Like a billion people. India mm-hmm. won one medal and it's gold. Got, no, one gold medal. And it was their first gold medal in 13 years. Yeah. That's pretty nuts. Mm. So what It's because cricket, cricket's not in the Olympics. Not in the if Olympics, cricket's really in the Olympics, they'd fucking dominate. And like I don't know, yeah. We had the oldest person ever win. We had, the, I think, we had the oldest and the youngest ever win. That might not be true. The young guy who won won skating. He was only eighteen. I think there's been younger people. Yeah, I think who won. I, th- I could be wrong, but I think a thirteen-year-old girl won the skateboarding. Oh yeah, I remember hearing about that. Like you don't. This year? Yeah, yeah. The, yeah, the first. I year don't of the think skateboarding. there's any age discrimination on who can enter the Olympics. Thirteen, he's young. Can you imagine how what a beast she'll be? When imagine heading 18. back to year. Imagine heading back to year eight, and it's just like, well, your math scores are a bit shit. Uh, and she's <laughs> just like, yeah, but I've got. Yeah, have you seen the shit hanging off my neck? She's just like grinding, like <laughs> with her skateboard, like around the classroom. <laughs> <laughs> Sit down, Samantha. Um, the the kid who won the skating for Australia. Well, he was fucked. Yeah, he had quite an interview. If you I if saw you it, have I time to watch the interview, go and have a look. That's a man who knows how to vibe out. <laughs> Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's an inside joke. There was also, um, I think we had the oldest woman ever to win a medal. She was like 60. What the fuck? 68, I thought. Yeah, she's an What's old. She's a battle act. 66. Mary Hannah. She's the oldest athlete to compete at the Tokyo Olympic Games. What's she playing? Um, and the she's represented girl. Australia five times previously. And she was doing the, like, the horse racing thing. What the do they call it? Dressage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dressage, which I thought I thought a oh, dressage was what we should put on a wound. <laughs> dressage, isn't that, isn't that when... Um, <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Hang on. Drum roll, drum roll. We yeah. might end on this. Have we got anything else to talk about just quickly? <laughs> not that funny. Uh, uh, load it up. Here we go. Drum roll. Here we go. Here we go. Isn't it? Uh, just gonna say, isn't dressage the thing, that special little flower you get to put on the girl's hand at ball? That's a corsage. That's a corsage. That yeah. wasn't worth... Yeah, why did you hide that? We're not even... We're not drumming. We're not drumming yet. We're not drumming out. We're not drumming out. Stick around. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's been a fun little Olympic session. But yeah, imagine it being. Has, yeah. What does it? What's what is dressage? Is it just sitting on the back of a horse? No, like, I think it's a little flower. You <laughs> oh, oh, we're going back to the well. <laughs> Uni's back, boys. <laughs> oh, wait, it's bigger than ever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, boy. <laughs> How did you go with your first semester results? Yeah, we never heard. You you just said you were locked out. You said you were locked out and you couldn't see your results. It's been months. I don't think he talked about that on the podcast, but last he... So you need to do a some Murdoch unit. Yeah, it's like the bullshit. academic integrity one you do at Curtin. Yep. At Curtin, you've been to it before you start. Mm. So at Murdoch, you're not allowed to see your results until you do it. Yep. Yeah, so you could go... You could legit complete all three years of your course... And wait to the end and just be like, did I pass them? You I think you'd get a tap on the shoulder pretty early on if that was the case. Yeah, yeah. So have you done it now? Yep, did it. And how had first sem go? Flew through. I didn't watch any lectures. <laughs> oh, you passed all of them? Didn't read any readings. I just sat there in the class and did, did my work. In Mur- at Murdoch? Yeah. The whole first semester? The whole first semester. That is not encouraged to anyone. That's what I averaged. Uh, I was getting... Four. I think my four percent. 64 like 66, 65, mid 60s. That's, yeah. that's decent. <laughs> yeah. Taking that. that. Exactly. It is what it is. So grind. you didn't watch a single lecture? Not one. You're paying a lot of money to do. And there's this, there's a and g- like, no, one of my mates from high school. Just wave to someone on uh, the. I just turned off the lighting. Um, <laughs> <laughs> there's this girl in high school uh, for the went to my high school that I'm mates with. And she started semester two. So yeah. She's starting this semester. Mm-hmm. 
and we were on the me and Olivia were on the phone to her before we went out last weekend and we were trying to convince her to come. Yeah. And she was like, oh, no. And she started doing my course. Oh, she got to study? She was like, no, no, no. I got to like watch some like stuff. I'm like falling behind on uni work. I was like, no, you're not. It's yeah. not a thing, though. <laughs> no, you're not. Um, <laughs> yeah. I've got to watch Back to the Future. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, le- lectures are fucking made up. What are you studying? Film. Screen production. So... Yeah. Film and okay. TV. So and do you, you watch, watch, been, watch movies and have stuff? Have you been learning a yeah. lot? That's so dope. That's so dope. Uh, yeah. Okay, cool. Because like, yeah, at least six you, want to pick, you want to pick something up while you're at uni. Yeah. My, my favorite class. Um, do you know what I'm doing this first time? Because last podcasting. Uh, yeah, radio. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> Surely you just hand in this, radio and it's yeah. just like yeah. Yeah. Or maybe a good episode. <laughs> 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 just I try, I think I, think I <laughs> yeah, imagine that. Yeah, radio and podcasting. Um, Lighting. <laughs> no, nah, I'm doing drawing. Ooh. Oh yeah, I feel like you can't learn. Intro to documentary, and then like some other Murdoch sh- like, shitty course. But um, <laughs> <laughs> picking you, up paper <laughs> around those games. You, you showing this video yeah. to your podcast teacher, and then he's like, "I take that course. Yeah, <laughs> I take shitty Murdoch." So what's the podcast course like? Do you do anything? He's actually his name. Oh, I forgot his name, but um, he's on Triple J. That oh, I Nova, no, no, I mean not Nova. The lecturer. Ninety-four point five. The lecturer. What's his ABC name? Radio. Um, Brian Gardner. I don't. He, mm, I don't know actually, but yeah, he's got. A, he's got a pretty Brian Taylor place. from Triple PT. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's got. Yo, Brian Taylor. Brian. Brian. Yeah, cool guy. Cool guy. And um, he's pretty. Yeah, this is you showing him. Yeah. Shout out yeah. to Brian. <laughs> big fan of the podcast. Bizarre. And then, uh, <laughs> <laughs> what did he say? Prizzo. <laughs> Bizza. <laughs> um, but yeah, like, like that's really like, his nickname. That's his nickname. Oh. I mean, Biz. We're tight. And then um, get him on. Yeah, oh, fuck! I was like, I didn't talk about. Um, <laughs> I was, uh, my my chutes, right? <laughs> Uni chutes. Oh, yeah, they yeah. are kind of a bit weird. <laughs> they are. They're just His a bit like conversations a bit weird. <laughs> they're just a bit like like strange. Like they're all just like so like not teachery. They're so like human. Like they're so like because when you go to high school, teachers are like so they're teachers. Yeah, like, that is their life. They're caretakers first as well. They're really looking yeah, after you. Exactly, but uni's like they're just like another person that's like. Also He's probably there. younger <laughs> than a lot of the people in the class, yep. more often than not. And then just like stand up there, and then if you don't listen, they don't care. Yeah, it's like you're if you want to listen, listen. If you don't, fuck off. You know, like yeah. it's just like it is what it is. But um, but yeah. So I was kind of I've, got, I've gotten used to that now that I've been at uni for like six months or whatever. So I've been getting used to. It, I'm like kind of liking like there's like it's cool, cool vibes. It's like teacher doesn't know my my name. I don't know their name or uh, the name of the unit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Or any of the lectures have been about. <laughs> or how to watch them. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's so funny. Like, no one watches the lectures, especially my course. They're always like, all right, did anyone watch the lecture this week? And everyone's just like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> just crickets. And they're, they're always just like, yeah, fair. And then I'm... Yeah. <laughs> that was not the case at either. I went to Frio and then I went to Curtin. Yeah, I feel like the film students probably a bit lax. <laughs> they're watching the lecture, I'd be like, man, the... The plot of this thing is not good. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, well, I was getting used to the weird shoots, right? But then something even crazier happened. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Mum's uh, just sneezed in the other room and it was one of the most vocal uh, things ever. I wonder if I could hear that. Um, <laughs> 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 She's just <laughs> apologizing. Uh, anyway, so <laughs> shoots are weird, right? Shoots are weird. Let's get back on track. Shoots are weird. And I was just getting used to them. And then some fucking something even weirder ha- has happened. I was in in my cl- my like one film course this semester, intro to documentary. Yeah. Sitting in the back of the class waiting for my uni shoot to come in, and then I was I was vibing, vibing, just waiting, waiting patiently, and then the door swings open. Yes. And it's a young girl, like thirty year old. Um, young girl, thirty year old. Yeah, not like an elderly. Not like <laughs> old old teacher. Not an old person. And then Fair. yeah, so she swings the door open, and I'm like, fair enough. What mm-hmm. classes were film? Film introduction oh, yeah. to Docker, and then she walks in. I'm like, this is a regular, normal thing to be happening. Teacher walks in, normal. Then I notice she's holding like a rope. <laughs> That's weird. That's different. But the rope is attached to two living organisms. Uh oh. She's bringing in two canines to the course. <laughs> Why did you say that in the weirdest way? Possible? That's how, this is, this is what was happening in my brain. I was like, what? <laughs> She's got she's got roped canines. She's ringing two in. dogs. That just walk around the class. I've got some photos on my phone of it. It's so cute. One one is called um um, 
Fuck. I don't know. <laughs> polar bear and Percy. That's I what think. the dogs are called? Yeah, polar, polar bear. bear and Percy. Yeah. What do they look like? One looks like a polar bear. And one <laughs> looks like so a one's like white. One looks yeah. like Percy. And one looks like Percy. Who's Percy? It was fucking, it was weird. And like some people had had her before. So like people were like, oh, Percy, Percy. <laughs> and then like came over. Like they were just walking around the whole class. And then sometimes they're just like, they would get in a fight and they'd be like, <laughs> <laughs> in the class. Yeah, while Kids we're like talking about some like weird like Hispanic fucking documentary. She, like the dogs are just like, <laughs> it was like, at one point they were like playing a game. They're like sprinting around each other. We're in a tiny class. There's like 30 <laughs> of us. Literally like a tiny classroom. Like we're all like bunched Riley up. up the back taking wages on who's going to yeah. win. Yeah. And then I, like, I was sitting next to this guy who's obviously had her before. Like he's a third year doing this course again. And um, he, yeah, he was just like, like he, he and he's like, oh, I missed you. I missed you. Like. <laughs> nice to see you again, doggy. I was like, what the f- that's weirdest thing I've ever heard? It's one of the only classes where you'd be out of be like, sorry, teach. The dog hit my own work. Yeah, legit. Actually, it was your dog. <laughs> <laughs> so, and I have a funny story because I was like, talking to one of the boys who's had her before. And he um, was telling me that last semester, um, she, she, she always brings the dogs in. Like, that's like once a semester or like no, always? No, always. Like every, every single session. day. Except she did bring him in last week. I don't <laughs> know. But yeah, like they're always there. They died. And then one day they were like just laying on the floor in the middle of the classroom. Like up the one was up the back, one was in the middle. And then you know how dogs get sick? Like they f- oh, they're what, throwing up? Yeah, one threw up on the floor like <laughs> right next to this <laughs> right next to this kid. And the teacher didn't know. And the right next to this kid's like feet. And he was like, obviously he could smell it. And he's like... Apparently he was like really like oh my, this oh you would fucked. if a dog vomits but on your foot. Then he didn't want to like interrupt her because she was like doing her thing. So then he just like stood up, interrupt, it is too went, to, went oh. to the bathroom, got like a bunch of toilet paper. He he cleaned up her dog's and vomit then, and then walked back in the class, <laughs> and then the vomit was gone. <laughs> The, the, the dog, dog ate it. The the dog ate it. <laughs> <laughs> and then he said the guy was just like walking around, just like what? <laughs> the <teacher's> like, <laughs> why are you bringing so much toilet paper? In? <laughs> yeah. The dog ate the. The vomit. Yeah. But what if... Did anyone witness that? Where are you? Yeah, he, no, I wasn't. This was in my class, but oh. he was telling me, what should it happen? What about... What if a kid had, like, allergies? And or, like, the, someone just, like, hates dogs? Yeah, I was thinking, I was like, well, yeah. Like, what if you were scared of dogs and the dog's just like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they like, sound like big dogs. <laughs> yeah, they are relatively big dogs. That's so Interesting. Odd. My tutor... I never had, like, wild animals join us, but one of my tutors... Can we name him? I know him. Yeah. I know him like... Drop him name. Shout him out. So I went to Curtin. I did marketing and advertising at Curtin. And there was a tutor lecturer there called Steve Dix. <laughs> 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 and we called him Steve Tricks because he was a magician. Um, <laughs> Not often that... The Dix isn't the funny yeah. bit of <laughs> Yeah. So he used to do magic in our shoots. Really? He did some riffing stuff. Like he did some really cool stuff. He's actually available. I know I had a look because we were booking out functions for an event we were doing at work a couple years ago. And I had a look at for some entertainment. Like we were going to get dancers yeah. or musicians. And I was like, we should get a magician. We should get a magician. I would love to see a magician. And so I'm sifting through like this event page. He has his own, like he comes and does corporate events as well. That's so cool. Wait, is his, Steve Tricks his stage name? I believe so, yeah. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Um, if it's not, it should be. But he has a Facebook page as well. I'm pretty sure it's Steve Tricks. Yeah, cool. It's he, cool. He, it's cool. Is he, he good? What, what does he yeah, do? We is he a card he, man? Anything. Hey, he used to do rope, like cut the rope, and then all of a sudden the rope's back together, and then he's cut it up into like lots of little pieces, and the rope's back together again. Yeah, I'm nice. sitting there going like, man, he's a wizard. I'm just trying to do. <laughs> I'm just trying to do marketing, but I'm getting like wowed out here. <laughs> he did this other really sick one. Now this is like his because we used to chat because he used to do a few different yeah, tutorials. Now that you say, I remember you telling me about. And so like the boys would chat. We'd like see each other out and about, and it's just like, oh, like how's. How's lecture? Uh, as I had, like, oh, we had Steve today. He's Trixie. Did, yeah, yeah, we you, you did a few tricks, and it's like, oh, did you do this one? We're like, nah, I haven't seen that one yet. And it became like a bit of a thing. My favorite one he ever did was a card trick, and he was just like sifting through, like I'll show you the card, mm-hmm. and then pick your card, shuffle the card back up, and then like showing the card. Yeah. No, that's not my card. No, that's not my card. No, that's not my card. And he was just like, oh. and just threw the cards up into the air. <gasps> and they smacked the roof. And the one stuck. And the one that stuck on the roof was the chick's card. And I was like, how the fuck? I know how. Did that stay up there? It was already there. No, I don't think it was. It was. Yeah. Why would it not be? Where, how often do you I go? Actually, <coughs> I used to do a similar one. 
Oh, here we go. Oh, in my youth. <laughs> in my youth. Wait, what's your stage In name? my youth. <laughs> Joey Tricks. <laughs> Now, in my youth, I used to... Actually, maybe I won't reveal in the secret. My oh. In my youth, I used to do... It was like, every once in a while, it like you get some holidays, you get bored. I do some magic. Okay. Yeah. And there was one that required some setup yeah. where what I would do is I would stick the card. I'd use, like, Vaseline or something like that to yeah. make the card sticky. We used hair wax. Yeah, yeah, hair wax. Yeah, yeah. Riley was my magician assistant. <laughs> yeah, I and was it the was thing in, that it made was it in, same real. Th- probably... Th- it was in the new room, which was a, str- a room that we had built onto our house, which yeah. was called the new room for about a decade. <laughs> it was, yeah, it, it was always because it was the newest room. The new room. I think it was it, it was part of our house longer than Riley was born, and it was <laughs> yeah. still being called the new room. Yeah, we don't call it the new kid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then so there was yeah, so we had stuck it on the outside of the new room, and then basically you do the trick and you force the. Through through sleight of power, you force them to pick that card. Yeah. yeah. And then whatever you do doesn't matter. And then what you do is you throw it and then it looks like it's stuck. Oh, no, no, no. You don't throw it. You hold it up against the thing that you put a handkerchief over it or a towel. Oh, is that what it did? And then you like slap it and then you pull the card away with the and towel. On the other side. And then I was standing See, behind I'm the window, lying. hiding Even behind the wall. And I had stuck it on behind. <laughs> Whilst he was doing the, whilst he put the towel up, <laughs> yeah. and then oh, everyone was dumbfounded because yeah. I was nowhere to be seen. I still, uh, there was like hair wax on the other side of my window for ages. <laughs> yeah, it's oh, that's there. disgusting. Yeah, it was Jake's hair wax as well. <laughs> yeah, he tricked him with his own fucking. <laughs> yeah. Taste of your own hair wax. <laughs> <laughs> All right, boys. Joe. Joe wants to debut a brand new segment. A we new haven't segment. played. We haven't played a game this week. We haven't done. Um, do you know what we do? Uh oh. Every week or every second week. Boys, we got a brand new segment. <laughs> we sh- and then they never return. They will. <laughs> they we're going to start will, returning. Yeah. We might do a poll. We've just where got we- so much content coming out. There's just there's no need to bring back old. Yeah, stuff. if you're listening to us, like we get we get say this every week. We get stacks of people who download our shit. If you really like a segment. Just slide into our DMs on Instagram. We'll make it a regular occurrence. Like, we've got heaps of games to sift through. People. And we've got more that we want to add that we just don't have time to do at the mm-hmm. moment. Mm-hmm. People do say we never redo segments. We've done Costas Correct twice. Yeah. We've done a high mark. I think we high mark twice. We only did Costas, we did Costas Correct twice, but we only put it out once. <laughs> because we edited it. Yeah, we edited it. Didn't it make, <laughs> no, it made left. No, 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 I think we, we accidentally. It didn't even make leftovers. We accidentally deleted this it. This is uncut footage that it was in a you lefto- don't even know exists. It was in a leftovers file, but it got deleted. Oh, but so, oh, high mark is the only game we've done. Twice. Twice. And you guys said it was the worst game, but here we are playing it again. (laughs) (laughs) We're not playing it again. (laughs) (laughs) Joey's got a brand new new segment. segment. Joey boy, it's called the MacPack Miracle. (laughs) (laughs) That is. The The MacPack Miracle. (laughs) (laughs) What did we use this on previously? the, the song sleuth. For some That's reason, right. we found right. a more suitable. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's been really. reefer. A bit of we, a reefer. We don't redo really segments, yeah. but we redo really sound effects. Yeah, it's been a long day. <laughs> what is the Mac? <laughs> what is the MacPack miracle? The MacPack miracle. It's exactly what it says on the tin. <laughs> it's for miracles that happen to the MacPack. <laughs> Hell yeah! Obviously, they're few and far between. Yeah, obviously, they're only MacPack miracles. They're not. Like, they're not like miraculous miracles. They're not marvelous miracles. Yeah, because that's not our. That's not our last name. That's not. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Idiots. Neither is MacPack. <laughs> 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 I always, whenever I say it, whenever someone's like, oh, what's your podcast called? And I say like, oh, the MacPack podcast. Like, it kind of makes sense because our name's McKenna, but it's not Mac Kenna. It should be the MacPack yeah, podcast. Yeah, but that doesn't <laughs> rhyme. You get the the MacPack. We're not New Zealanders. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You should have brought this up uh, 46 weeks ago, <laughs> <Yeah>. really. <laughs> Who is Mac? <laughs> so essentially, MacPack miracles. Uh, miracles, but they're they're like... Brought to you by the Mac. They're, they're on a level which is accessible to everyone, you know? Or accessible, yeah. They're, they're like not, it's like an everyday miracle that happens to us. Yeah, exactly. We're not walking on water. We're not turning water into wine. But miracles do happen to, to us. Yeah. And what happened, this is actually, um, let me see. It was, it was We'd love to be able ago. to turn beer into water, especially during this eight-week challenge. If I could drink heaps of water and then once it hits my stomach, it turns into water. That'd be all time. This happened to me, and it's one of the most amazing things to ever happen in my life. So it was in <laughs> it was, a lot. the 15th of October <laughs> last year. So a week oh, into us Almost a birthday podcast. miracle for you. Almost a birthday miracle. This is yeah. first week of the podcast as well. Yeah. You could have brought it up you early. Do get was this the first week of the podcast? Yeah, yeah. it was the week after my birthday. Didn't this happen recently? No, no, this happened the 15th of October. You just said that. Mm. 
<laughs> so what, you must be thinking, oh, what what amazing, what what happened to Joe? What amazing act of God? And it was an act of God. Yeah, <laughs> it was indeed an act of magic. So you ever have Maggi noodles? <laughs> yeah. I do. I have them, I have them often. <laughs> have you Ma- ever had Maggi noodles? Maggi noodles. noodles. Maggi noodles. <laughs> is that what they're called? Yeah, yeah Maggi noodles. Is it Maggi or is it Maggi? Let us know. <laughs> the Mi Garang. The Mi Garang ones. Yeah. So I have the, the ones I the ones I travel with the most. The spicy boys. Yeah, so two minute noodles, spicy. So if you haven't had these before, I'll run you through it. So essentially, you get dried noodles. Yeah. You get a sachet, one with chili. Yeah. Yep. One with like... A sweeter something. Yep. Mm-hmm. And then you get like this. It's like a soy sauce. It's like a sweet sauce. Yeah, then sauce. you get. No, no, but that's just the powder I'm talking about. Oh, then you okay. get another sachet that has the soy sauce and some oil. Oil. Stuff. Yeah, oil. Yeah. So you make this. When I like to make it, what I have that oil sauce. You just rub it on your nipples. <laughs> 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 it does nothing for the taste. It's for chafing. It's <laughs> just for the excitement <laughs> level. <laughs> so when I when I make it, you know, they're two noodles. They're not that fancy, but I like to I like to make them a bit fancy. So what I do oh. is I'll have Here what I'll go. do is have two packs of the magis, and yeah. then I'll have um, an array of like vegetables that we have in the house. You know, okay. liven it up a bit. Weird yeah. man. I didn't see any of this on Jared's um, body magic. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, w- I wonder where the magic. Yeah, <laughs> there was also no chips, hot chips yeah. on there, which body. broke my heart. <laughs> oh yeah, body magic. <laughs> 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 so basically, what I'll do is yeah, two two packs of noodles. Yep. In their vegetables. Oh, it's great. Great. If you haven't tried it. Mm. Yeah, they're elite. Bang bang bang. But Come so you must be thinking, all right, this guy said two noodles. What happened? What was so miraculous about this? <laughs> And what happened <laughs> was, so I opened it up, <laughs> yeah. noodles go into the thing, <gasps> and I see in the little silver sachet, yep. which there's only normally one of them, yep. two sachets. Bang. That that's, ma- that's twice that's as many. That's double the flavor. <laughs> that's insane. Double the flavor, double the fun. And sometimes I've never you get seen this before. <laughs> sometimes you get a few like ones that obviously didn't make the distribution of the flavoring, and they're just a bit, they're not as of tasty. The noodles, yeah. You get really tasty ones, oh, yeah. Yeah. some that aren't it. But with a double pack, they're all going to be tasty ones. Yeah. So I'm, 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 oh, I'm, going, I'm going nuts for it. This is insane. <laughs> a double pack. Man, I move on to my second pack of noodles, right? Because you're assuming once you get a double pack, somewhere along the line, someone's getting the one with zero. There's going to be a no pack. Yeah. yeah. Which imagine getting magic noodles like built into this flavor. You've worked out, I've got this flavor profile. I'm going to get the nicest magic noodles. We've got these sweet and sour. They're a bit spicy. They're a bit hot. You take them to work. You're ready to go. You pull them up. And because Joe in Canningvale has got the double lot, you've got zero. So you're stuck just just chewing on crunchy, That's flavorless, so flavorless like you can't do noodles. anything. You have, to, you have to throw them out. You Otherwise, you're going to have really weirdly tasting because you have to mix two with one. It's like so not enough. Yeah. You may be thinking, all right, that's kind of neat. You've got a double pack. Yeah. Good for you. Yep. But you know what? Lightning striking isn't a miracle. But lightning striking twice no is still not really a miracle. <laughs> but it could be a backpack miracle. <laughs> 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 and in this instance, it was. <laughs> well, it's lightning striking two magic packets. That's <laughs> yeah. a fucking miracle. Lightning doesn't strike the same magic packet twice. <laughs> like the fact that it happened twice. Wait, you tell oh, yeah, yeah, the yeah. Yeah, it's spoiled. So basically, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm ecstatic. I've got my double pack. This is great. So now I'm thinking, all right, I've got noodles and I'm going to have... Two packs of noodles, yep. three packs of um, powder. Yeah, oh. living the dream. I crack over the next pack. No, it's another double pack. Oh, oh fuck! No. <laughs> I was. <laughs> what is a man to do with so much flavor? I was so amazed, right, the that I got another double. I was. I questioned myself. I was like, wait. Is this is immortality? This normal, is this just a normal amount? And I'm just, just like... Joe, come, out, come out to the kitchen. Joe's just slacking himself yeah. with a frying pan. This can't be reality. <laughs> this can't be reality. I thought that, yeah, I thought maybe I'm just wrong. Maybe this is the normal thing. Yeah. But it's not. I think I even may have checked another packet to see if... <laughs> <laughs> My God. You got like a double pack. <laughs> yeah, yeah, a double, a full double pack. But yeah, it was insane. It was, I had the noodles. So good. But yeah, you got to think about the poor soul. Possibly two poor souls mm, out who there. Who was it? Who are you? Who are you? Because that's the thing about, you know, you win something, you lose something. In this case, <laughs> I won and someone else lost yeah. it. Yeah. So it's crazy that it happened not only once, not only twice. But twice. twice. But back to back to the ones that are right next to each other. And you grabbed those two. What are the fucking chances? And also think about all the conveyor belts going through. Oh, uh, yeah. So there must have just been what? Like a slight hiccup. Unless it was like a hiccup of on mass. Mass, oh, mass noodles. Yeah. You know? Maybe, maybe. Yeah. Like maybe so the machine was broken for like a week and I went, Jimmy forgot to check it. I went nuts. <laughs> I 
it was ins- I was like, what? <laughs> this is crazy. I took a photo of it. I'll post. We'll post the photo, guys. Don't stress. <laughs> <laughs> we'll post the photo. It's just two We've got packets. proof. It's <laughs> just two packets of seasoning. Don't <laughs> don't come in here thinking it's gonna be something so chill. That's it. I have my two perks. I make up my things. Cut up my veggies. Put them in there. Yep. Douse them in the flavoring. Yeah, gotta yeah, say, yeah. a bit much. <laughs> <laughs> All right, boys, it's time for our weekly segment, one of our favorite segments on the MacPack podcast. It's out. So every day here. Now, boys, there was a heap of um, requests that came in this week. We had plenty of nominations for the yeah. everyday hero. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah, they all came in. <laughs> this will be good. They all came in through the ballots. You know, it's a pretty long process. You might be um, you might be surprised to hear. <laughs> but basically, each premier will nominate, I guess, a series of champions that go into they the running. They top three yeah. from their state. Which they all to us. Mums, mum us. stands by the mailbox every Tuesday. <laughs> yeah. And the postie comes over and goes, here. That. It's similar to like the colonel, when the colonel did like the seven secret herbs and spices <laughs> and it like got marched up by like an armor guard. <laughs> did like he? when they did like when they do the uh, the Brownlow medal and it's in a briefcase and all the armor guards are up there. That's what happens with our everyday hero. Does that tweet. happen at the Brownlow? Yeah. What's it made out of? For what? Brown low. <laughs> What's that? It's just a medal. Um But why are they armor guards? No, it's the, uh, it's not for the medal, it's for the vote count. Uh, yeah. uh, it's because uh, there's a lot of money riding on that. Yeah. Like, it's like the everyday hero. Yeah. <laughs> it Did would you be funny when we make it real big. Every week the sports fit has a... Who could it be? Everyday yeah. hero. Yeah. Well, coming in high this week, but definitely not um, the actual everyday hero, yeah. is Paddy Mills. Paddy Mills. Now, Paddy... Australian Paddy basketball representative. Paddy Mills dropped 42 points last night in the... The bronze, bronze medal game. game. Yeah. Um, it's the first bronze. It's the first medal Australian basketball has ever seen at the Olympic Games. Andrew Gaze was calling the game. Andrew Bogut was calling the game. Andy Ma was part of the coverage. A lot of Andys. A lot of Andys going yeah. on. Fucking hell. Good, good week for Andys. <laughs> <laughs> um, but where was I going with that? So oh, he Paddy Boy. Mills played. Yeah, so Pat, yeah he, he dominated. And and it was like one of the key reasons to... He led the boys to their first medal. Yeah, to the bronze medal. Ben yeah. Simmons, where were we? Um... <laughs> Oh, funny thing with Paddy Mills. Yeah. So in the opening <laughs> ceremony coverage, right? Yeah. He this is I think this bearer. is the first year we had double flag bearers. Two every year bearers. every year it's just the one flag bearer. Yeah. And I think Paddy Mills was the first indigenous yeah. flag bearer from Australia to do the flag bearing. Yeah. Huge honor. Props to him. He's probably the best athlete we have. Go Paddy. I think I think and I might be out of touch here, but Kathy Freeman is probably the one of the best, if not the best indigenous athlete we've ever had at the Olympics. Yeah. Followed by Paddy Mills. Yeah, I think I think Possibly, those two yeah. are the yeah, yeah they're the all time. But I couldn't name any other Australian Olympian. Ian Thorpe. Yeah, but Thorpe. Was big. A lot of swimmers. A lot yeah. of swimmers. Yeah, but they're like the, they're the they're the lads, you know. Yeah, they've got like and that dude who rode that skateboard, he's cool. Um, <laughs> well, that cracked fucking American. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so the Canadian gets up there. So the similar the equivalency to like the Bruce McAvaney for the seven yeah, yeah. for the seven coverage. Is in ca- in Canada doing mm-hmm. like the coverage for Canadian TV, which I would imagine is very. I would, <laughs> would, I would love to watch. A, yeah. yeah. Oh, it would have been these ones. <laughs> yeah, it would have been good. good. Was that another Canadian accent? It was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. nearly. It's all right. I'll, <laughs> I'll dub over in post. Um, <laughs> and he goes so like Australia comes out and we're singing like waltzing Matilda or whatever our national anthem is. And Paddy's out there with the other chick, and I don't know her. Yeah, name. yeah. We probably should have looked into that before we <laughs> probably should have looked into a few Olympic stats. Yeah, yeah. We haven't watched many. Um, <laughs> and so they're walking the the flag bearing out. Um, it's all the flag, not the flag bearing. They're walking the flag <laughs> out. Each other out. And the the Canadian person goes, "Oh, and how good is this for Australia? Two female athletes walking out the because Patty's got like long hair, long dreaded hair. Yeah, and oh he just boy. assumed that it was a woman. Can't uh, be doing imagine, that. yeah, no, nah, not that. Flash. And he would have been he's, like, he's not massive. He's only like six foot. Yeah, but yeah. still, you can. They're playing basket. He plays basketball in Canada like <laughs> multiple times during the year. Like it's part yeah. of their US league. Yeah, be aware of who's playing. Yeah, it is funny because like so it's strange. Out. It's not like if like Brody Grundy went out with his long hair, you'd be like, ah, oh, a woman football player. Yeah, yeah with this massive yeah. beard. Yeah, I guess the w- I think the female um, flag bearer from Australia w- might have been a touch taller than him. So maybe that oh, was maybe. a bit more like yeah, maybe height. Let's go back down to cap. Oh my like, god, you got, <laughs> that's a little spoiler alert. <laughs> yeah, and also maybe maybe he looked and saw Patty and was thinking like Patricia or something like that. Yeah, 
Who knows? Oh, Nonetheless, yeah, fair enough. Surely you've done more research than that. Yeah. Um, getting on to the actual everyday hero itself, which it's we accidentally just leaked. Just it's, <laughs> a, it's a footy everyday hero. It's hot off the press now. Yep. This one we had to put all the the list of applications to the side this week because this one came in on my way back from the footy that we just attended the Dockers game. Yes. Now, oh, was this? No, this oh, isn't okay. from the Dockers game. This is from the Gold Coast Carlton game the yep. other night, but it only came to my attention on the way home. Okay. Now. Um, just quickly, footy's coming to the O. The Optus yep. Stadium. Yeah, Optus. the uh, footy's coming to the O. You better bloody believe it. Grand final's coming home. The cup went. The, what was it? The sh- f- football's coming football's home. Coming home. Yeah, <laughs> football's coming to the O. It's coming to Optus Stadium. It's you be- the mark my words. All right, it is August eight. Yep. The grand final will be played at Optus Stadium. I have. Absolutely no doubt about it. I know you've Gil, heard it here first. I know Gil came out last week and was just like, "No, we're doing it at the MCG." And props to him. I think it should be played at the MCG because the MCG is a, is the mecca. Mm-hmm. But it's got to come to the O this year. We can't have no crowds yeah, at the grand crowd. final. That would break my heart. It would break the players' heart. It would break Gil's pocket. He can't afford <laughs> that. Day, that's what they really care. About. They've already booked out. I've heard from multiple sources. They've mm-hmm. already booked out. The AFL has booked out Jindal up. Um, Resort four months leading into the grand final, so I think they've got just in the, case. I think they've got it for the whole of September. They've got like a oh. backup plan. I don't think I think that is the plan. Like as much uh-huh. as he wants to say it's Melbourne, Melbourne, Melbourne. Yeah. June Lup, June has been booked out by the AFL. Well, there you go. The grand yeah, final, the, grand final, will, the grand final will be played at Optus. Mark my words. But you've now, here first. while we're talk- on the subject of AFL, yeah, we're going to award episode forty sixes. Everyday hero. Now, this everyday hero is, while it's an on-field accolade, it's an off-field act, yeah. right? Yeah. So it goes to Jacob Townsend, and who ha- he has a speech impediment. Okay. Now he has a bit of a stutter. We're going to play you a clip just to sort of demonstrate his act, and then we're going to explain why Jacob Townsend is week forty-six is everyday hero. Listen. In. Team watching on here, two goals in a win. How's that for your club debut? Yeah, obviously, yeah, the f- feel, feeling pretty pretty good, good at the moment. I um, thought I was coming come and try and play my role, and um, we've had a tough week. Um, obviously, the last week um, wasn't what we wanted to to uh, put, put out there, so um, we had a t- tough week on the, on the tra- training track. We wanted to come come here with with a uh, pretty good, good good win, and I felt that we did that. Just finally, how satisfying to repay coach Stuart Jews. Been under a bit of pressure lately. Yeah, you're right. He's been under. under on the pump and, and he sort of hasn't had much to do, do with our performance as it's all us out there so yeah as I said we we had a focus of come, coming out here and having a win um, and think and think all we did that so it was good Go and celebrate. Now, so that's it Jacob Townsend the Gold Coast footballer who yep. used to play for Richmond yep. finished up the game had, had a great game um, Rich, uh, sorry Gold Coast put on a quite a display yep. knocked off the Blues yep. um and he put his hand up and he's like, "Yeah, I could. I'll do the the, the, the post game chat with um the fox the fox footy coverage. Shout mm-hmm. out to fox footy for providing us with the, with the audio clip. Thanks, guys. <laughs> um, so while a lot of players are looked at on field to be idols and they're role they're, models. yeah role models and their acts and their heroes in their own right, yeah, I think I I personally don't think Jacob Townsend for his Courage and his footballing ability would be a, a, a massive. He's no Dusty Martin. No, he's no Dane. Um, Zorko is no like big figure type player, right? Yep. Um, but it's the little act that he does after the game where he chats and he sort of puts his stutter aside to a degree and just goes, while I'm not like a confident speaker and I've always had this stutter, yeah. I'm still going to put my hand up and like be courageous enough to speak in front of everyone. Um, and I think that would, because I'm sure there'll be thousands of kids at home who probably have stutters or have some sort of speech impediment or yeah. any any little what would you even call them like idiosyncrasies yeah um, yeah there'd be a lot of people with them that would be like i'm not gonna do it because i've got this i don't yeah wanna, i don't and want people to be talking about that and generally when you have a stutter it becomes from a lack of confidence to begin with yeah um so to have somebody to idolize who's on the grand stage grand stage who you wouldn't necessarily know. I did, definitely didn't know that. I've watched yeah. Jacob Townsend play yeah, fucking exactly. stacks of games of footy. Yeah. Had no idea of that. So I'm sure when the kids go to school tomorrow, there'll be a handful of kids, like your jocks and all that shit, who like love footy. And there'll be the kids who have stutters who also love footy and whatnot. Yeah. And now they've sort of got this 
God. Jacob Townsend will have so many more fans out of this whole thing because he took a leap of faith and demonstrated that you don't necessarily have to hide behind your weaknesses. You can... Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's almost be like... yourself. I've kind of, I get the vibes as if he's like obviously been dealing with that almost his whole life. Yeah. And now he's just like, fuck it. Like, I don't even care anymore. Like, yeah. Let's just do it. And the actual movement itself to do... Make yourself an idol and lead by example and be like, hey... We got we got this thing, but that's what a hero is. Yeah, it's not going to hinder who we are. So Jacob Townsend Thanks. for being a role medal, not only on field but off field, not only with your sporting accolades, but with the the way that you're willing to sort of stand up and show who you are and provide kids yeah. who might not necessarily be the most confident with someone to look up to. You are this week episode forty sixes, everyday hero. All right, boys, that brings us to the end of episode 46 of the Mac Pack podcast. We've done it. Another one. 46. In. Another one. Is every, we've done it. <laughs> 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 Will we be back next week? Yeah. Who knows? No big milestone next week, the 47. <laughs> um, oh, I don't, really? know, I don't know any footy players <laughs> or any sporting players that run oh. the number 46, so we're not going to do a... We're getting close to our 50. We are. A Look at century. you working it out. Half century and then a year of podcast. Yeah, back to back. I don't know. We're, we're definitely going to do something for it. We've got heaps of stuff. We always say we've got heaps oh, we've of got, stuff. We've got some stuff planned, especially for the 50. In the pipeline. And I want to get a guest on. You both know the guest that I want to get on. We're yes. not going to drop his names now. We've got we've got a, sh- a, a, a short list. It's becoming a long list of people who we want to get on the podcast. Yeah. Um, it's just a matter of working out the logistics and such. Some big names coming up. And we've got some exciting stuff that we want to do before probably the end of this year in regards to um, potentially sad. some... Well, and potentially, and potentially a little. Ooh, I don't think we should say that. <laughs> Why? Let's just beef it. Yeah, let's beef it. Oh, let's I beef like it. that. I like. I really like that. All right. I don't think we're not we're not prepared enough to be saying that yet. Subscribe to the Patreon if you want an unbeeped version of what we've oh. just said. Um, boys, what was I going to say? We were going to oh the March Madness video. Yes, <gasps> the we're sharing it. We March. dusted it off. It's ready to go. Yeah, it's been ready for so long. I've actually had a watch of it during. So, the so what did we 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 filmed it in April? <laughs> yeah. a so bit we planned late. it. We planned it first week of March. It was like a big thing we'd done. Once we were in the new studio, we we're like, oh, this will be exciting. We'll do a fucking March Madness video. We we're playing like bar sports out the back. Yeah, and we didn't get to filming it till first week of April. It got edited before Anzac Day because I was in Mandra. I remember when you sent it through and yeah, I was like, I that looks it. sick. And then we just didn't touch it since. Every week it's like, hey, we doing it? And I it's think like, it's better than people are going to be expecting though. Yeah, it's, I, it made me laugh. It's more of like a, it's a, it's a theatre piece Ooh, rather than a little bastard um, game. Shout out to Edmund and Cavella who brought mm-hmm. our attention to it once again. After Every about time I've gone out, they've been like, McKenna, mate, when is the when is the March Madness? Yeah, coming? about three for the three three months. I reckon we haven't spoken. I, think I about forgot it. about it. Joe yeah. said this Edmund. earlier. He said, "We talk about Kanye, like, bro, release the album." <laughs> Edmund's like, bro, release <laughs> March Madness, please. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's fucking August. We are Kanye. Um, but we have shared at time of this coming out. <gasps> it <laughs> is out. Holy! <laughs> I hope. Oh my um, god! Now I will personally share it. Tomorrow, I'll schedule it in right now, and we'll, we'll, we'll get that out and about. <laughs> Boys, is that it? Is that all about everything we need to chat about? It. I feel like there was a few things we needed to catch up long on. Long Oh, you keep getting seen <laughs> out. You, Mr. Publicity. Yeah. You're just like Perth's biggest publicity dog. Every time I go out. Yeah, so many times you've come in. I got spotted at Nando's by... Maddie. Maddie. Um, I forgot who... What her name was. Um... Yeah, she. I was ordering my chicken a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, and I walk up and I'm like putting the menu away, and she said something to me, and I wasn't really clocking what was going on. I was just really excited to get some peri peri chicken. Um, and, and then I've looked at Taylor because like, I thought she was chatting to Taylor, and I was like, "What's up?" And she's like, oh, "I love your podcast." And I was like, "Oh, see, <laughs> I was really, I didn't know what to do. Like, I'm not really a shy person." Yeah. And I was just like, yeah. What do you say? I was like, well, I'm like, oh. I'm like yeah. And I'm always like pretty drunk, and like I'm just like walking <laughs> yeah, through Magnet House always. or Metro's last night, and then just like, oh, I seen your podcast on TikTok. You're so funny, and it's like that. Like, th- thanks. Like, like, what do you say? Like, it's just like, yeah. I'm always just like, yeah, buddy, yeah, let's cool, do it. Yeah, yeah. Let's do it. <laughs> yeah, no, it, it, nah, it's I love good. it. Though. It's so, it's yeah, so if cool. you do see us in the flesh, we're more than happy. And just to say good day. Like, we're not. We're, we're more scared of you than you are of us. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> if anyone's a bit shy to come up to me, like. 
I'm freaking out. It's after the <laughs> I don't want to talk to. Well, not that I don't want to talk to you, but I would. Get Wait, Joe, tell us about yeah. your your experience. Of uh, nah, nah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, if you do see us in the flesh, we're more than happy to say good day. Just make, it. make sure that you do it respectfully, I guess. Bloody and you took a photo with some dude. Yeah. Cute. Legend. <laughs> yeah, I like that. The, it's because uh, Riley just talks about a bunch of places and then goes <laughs> there. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. it's like, oh my god, Magma House is crazy. <laughs> oh just my god, I sits Magna out House. the front Monday to Friday, Cause. going, I wonder if anyone would notice me. Yeah, because I like went to Magna House, I got noticed a few times, and I was like, I mean, it is Magna House. Like, this is where our content's coming from, pretty yeah. well, on TikTok. <laughs> and then I was at Metro's, and people were still like, oh yeah, what's going on? And I was like, this is good. Great times. The Mecca. Great I'm not times. going to any of those places. You have to. You have to really look. If you want to find me, I'll be at like. A, like a, a rogue a golf, balls. a rogue yeah. a golf course, or something like where where you find like sixty year old people. That's generally where I'll be, or oh. in Body Magic's gym yeah, yeah. <laughs> for the next eight weeks, just grinding and burning out calories. Hell yeah! Um, yeah. Wrap it up. I think yeah, no, I think that would do it. <laughs> but yeah, if you just listen, especially say good Um Boys, it's been an absolute pleasure to sit next to you once again. Episode forty six oh, of the Mac Pack Podcast. Yeah. We've got a few guests in the pile. We've got a few things. That we will get there. Large Two. madness is coming out. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. Until we purge up this time next week, remember to stay safe. Stay blessed. And always remember to go give your mama a hug. Ciao for now, but not forever.